Sharon Hester is a colored pencil artist. I want to get that out of the way first because when you see photographs of her artworks, they look like just that, photographs. They're not. They're meticulously drawn colored pencil drawings. Clearly, Hester is a talented draftsperson, but her primary profession is actually at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission as a wildlife biologist. They do work to enhance and maintain the habitat for wildlife by doing things like prescribed burning, managing hunting, and providing other recreational opportunities like fishing, crabbing, and bird watching. When asked about what draws her to nature, Hester quoted Aldo Leopold, there are some who can live without wild things and some who cannot. Like him, she said, I am one who cannot. She talks a lot about dualities in her work, a combination of objectivity and subjectivity, detail and accuracy interconnected with beauty and mood. Hester says that she has both sides to her personality. She says, the detail-oriented, scientific, picky side of me wants everything to be accurate and realistic. The artistic side of me wants to portray beauty and wonder without clinging to perfection. Sometimes I fight with myself about it. As an example, let's look at Pacificum, a painting of dolphins jumping out of water. Hester talks about how the dolphins are gray in real life, but gray dolphins against blue water was too plain. So she instead used warmer colors for the dolphins and their reflections. As an artwork, it makes it stronger, but Hester says the biologist in me is a little bit embarrassed. Sharon Hester also takes her own photographs, though she says she doesn't have a fancy camera or anything. She does need a good zoom to capture wildlife and is careful to capture nature in its best light. She says, I do my best to capture an expression or behavior in my wildlife shots instead of just bland portraits. She takes a lot of photographs and then culls through them to find the best, editing, cropping, and adjusting color and lighting, all as part of the planning process for her drawing. As a full-time wildlife biologist, Hester takes her time to do drawing early in the morning for about an hour or so each morning before work, so sometimes it takes her months to complete just one drawing. When asked what her favorite piece in the exhibition was, uh, Hester said that one of her favorites is the mellowed clarities. She likes the cool blue tones in the otter's wet fur standing out against the warm red tones of the water. You can also see how she has beautifully executed the ripples and bubbles in the water. For Sharon Hester, artistic discovery is all about taking the time to truly see this world and making the effort to record it, whether it's a close encounter with a beautiful animal or a ray of sunlight that transforms the subject from the mundane to amazing.